your storm track weather with meteorologist Kyle Borka. Hey there, Northeast Kansas, and welcome back to KSNT News. Local time is 619, and the sky conditions crystal clear. Here's our KSNT Weather Cam Network. We're actually peeking into central Topeka. There's the Kansas State Capitol, and just off to its right from our direction here uh, is the Jayhawk Tower. Should be an easy go in terms of the weather forecast to work into school over the next several hours. I want to keep the forecast today super simple for you. It's going to be a great day. Lots of sunshine and uh, warmer weather, too. In fact, High temperatures this afternoon, despite the frosty start to the morning, uh, they'll actually be between 70 and 75 degrees. Now, I want to take you back to yesterday. We were 10 degrees cooler than our average. That average high temperature is 65. We only saw those highs in the mid to upper 50s yesterday. Well, today, almost 10 degrees above the average. And in terms of afternoon temperatures, that's a 20 degree temperature swing. So that uh, roller coaster ride of temperatures here in late October continues. Here's our KSNT satellite and radar. Get Get used to this picture, not really seeing much on it. Maybe a bit more cloud cover on Friday and then again by this time next week for Halloween. However, between now and then, I'm thinking some uh, dry skies and some clear skies too. That argues for a lot of stars at night and a lot of sunshine throughout the day. Temperatures so far this morning, again, that frosty territory, uh, low to mid 30s, even still some 40s out there. But notice in the Flint Hills, getting awfully close. 32 degrees is the freezing mark. We're at 37 in Manhattan, 36 between Fort Riley and Junction City. And look at this, south of I-70, Linden, about 3 degrees above freezing. Uh, if you parked your cars outdoors last night, some of those uh, harder metallic surfaces might have some frost on them already this morning. Something to keep in mind. Our KSNT Future Track 10. This is lunchtime today, low 60s, high temperatures this afternoon between 70 and 75 degrees with our southern and westernmost counties the warmest yet again today. Here comes that Arctic cold front we've been talking about for the last 7 to 10 days. It finally arrives tomorrow afternoon. Might not be the best timing. I'm told some uh, local area high school football games are going tomorrow for the playoffs. Well, I think we warm up before the front rolls in, so by lunchtime or 1 p.m. tomorrow, temperatures upper 60s, low 70s. But here comes that plunge of colder air and also stronger winds. No real winds to speak of today, but they'll be back with a vengeance tomorrow out of the due north direction. All right, so wrapping things up in a forecast for you today from KSNT. Storm track weather, lots of sun. Get outside if you can and enjoy it. The warmest day of this week, but also the warmest day of the next two weeks. How about that? So as we enter November next week, temperatures won't even come close to 75. Tonight, 45 degrees, clear and chilly. No threat for frost tonight, but we'll do it all over again Thursday night. Take Take a look at those temperatures into the weekend, though. 20s, that hard freeze Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Daytime temperatures on Friday and Saturday, specifically in the 30s and 40s. That's the coldest weather we've had since April. And next Tuesday, happy Halloween. A mix of sun and clouds, 54.